Yeah. Right in the eye. Dang. Welcome back everybody. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of what I do here at the hangar. Right now I'm making some sealant because I found some sealant cracks on the helicopter and we need to go patch that up. And to one. By weight. So the sealant that I'm making is two parts and when you mix them together it gets really sticky. I go ahead and put it into a syringe, but most people usually tape off the area and either hand apply it or use a stick, but personally I like using a syringe. Yeah, so that boot crack that we talked about in the last video, I'm applying sealant there and patching that up, so that was a quick and easy fix. And then here on the position light, I did find some open gaps, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some silicone and patch that up. Quick and easy fix, just apply it on and then make sure it's smooth and even, and then I go ahead and let that dry. So right here, I'm setting up the camera for tail rotor vibes. Uh, we do this every 100 hour, so it's just a camera that reflects off the reflective tape and then the computer calculates the vibrations off of that using the camera and the okay. accelerometer. Yeah. More tape for the pretty princess. No, you don't have to Got say all that. Me. Nope, nope. Too far. Won't you relax? You're being dramatic. Yes. I am a pretty princess. And I am dramatic. So I get what I want. So the blinking light on the camera oh, represents the that's strength really of the signal. Now. So if it's blinking really fast, you have a really good, Buzzing. really good signal. But if it's blinking really slow, then you have a really poor signal. So we put in new tape just to have a better signal strength. So I find it pretty cool that we can do a compressor wash. So right now it's just soap and water. So we send the soap solution in first and then use a starter to cycle it through. And then after that, uh, we switch the same fitting out with water and then repeat the process until all the soap is gone. So here I'm sending in the water now. You'll see the soap coming out of that uh, combustion drain right there so we just do this a few times and make sure we get all that that white sud out so right here you can see that most of that soapy solution is leaving and just to double check uh, we put our hands under there and if there's still soap it will appear white but if it becomes clear then that's how we know we washed everything thoroughly yeah yep i like it no moss with the and he had this sticking out like that when he was doing it. Yeah, right in the eye. Dang. He got, he was like, and You knew this guy? Yeah, I knew. He was climbing down off the bird. They had to help him down. Because he couldn't fucking see. And he was, he was saying it was scary as shit because he, uh, he couldn't see for like 15 minutes out of that eye. Dang. He thought he was going to go blind. But he got better. That's scary. So here we're just doing some checks. Uh, we just want to make sure the engine's ready for when the pilot shows up to pick it up. And we're just checking for any oil leakage, any loose lines, any lines leaking, and then making sure everything looks good and cleaned out. So this is the computer that the uh, 
IR camera hooks up to, and right now it's giving suggestions on what to do to remove some of the vibrations. So we go ahead and do that, and then we'll just finish that. We'll go up and go fly and test the vibrations out at different speeds. Ten degrees. Where we're up about at. It wants thirty-eight plus or minus three, and it's at thirty. We're gonna do that. Okay. So we need to pop this bolt off and drop drop this fucking control off, and then we'll loosen this jam nut, and we'll let's see if it needs to go. What do these threads look like? So we need to unthread the lollipop out. So turn it to the right and unscrew it outwards. Okay. And that's yeah. gonna extend this to way. And we'll move this to the 38. Full beans. Yeah, and once the pilot's happy and he's good, um, they'll go ahead and take the helicopter and do whatever they need to do. And then I'll see him again in the next 100 hour. Get a little spiky zone. <laughs> 